right, good evening everyone. Welcome to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley along with my buddy Daniel. We are live in Homerville for some more exciting Region 2A basketball as the uh, Clinch County Lady Panthers host the Eccles County Wildcats uh, from Statenville. Uh, Clinch County, they played earlier this year in Eccles with Clinch getting the better of them. So tonight we're in Homerville. I'm gonna step back while they announce the starters and I'll be right back. Starting lineup for Eccles County. Number 12, Amari Hayes. Number 15, Faith Jones. Number 23, Mariah Everton. Number 32, Olivia Coppers. All right, there's your starters for Eccles. Now here comes the Clinch County Lady Panthers starting lineup. And now your starting lineup for the Lady Panthers. Number 24, Angel McGray. Number 11, Kara Pat. Number 12, Senior Samaya Smile. Number 14, Senior Shamanica Wesley. Number All right, there's your starting lineup for the Lady Panthers, and we see where Angel has changed her number from number two to 24. Uh, probably for Kobe Bryant. Man, the prayers go out to his family. A uh, tragic accident happened uh, this weekend. All right, the girls from Clinch County come in with an 18 and two record. They have a game Friday. No, they're 19 and two, excuse me. They have their last game of the season Friday in Atkinson County. If they win Friday tonight and Friday, they will get to host the region tournament here in Omerville. So uh, Panthers need to win tonight and Friday to be able to do that. Eversley, the number 23 for Eccles County, when we played them earlier this year, she had 24 points against the Panthers. She's a great basketball player. All right, we're getting ready. Here comes the tip. It's six o'clock, and here we go. Small. Clincher win the tip. Clincher's in white. Eccles is in black. Wesley with the ball now. She's gonna dribble around. She'll give it up to West. Back to Karasu. Get it down low to small. Good defense there by Eccles. That was Hayes knocked it away. Here comes Eversley with the ball. Now she'll give it up to Jones. Oh, they were trying to get it down low to Hayes. They keep it though. She'll drive in. Oh, we're gonna have a foul and that's gonna be on Angel. That'll be her first foul. Early here in the first. Zero to zero. That will put Eversley on the free throw line and it'll bounce all around, she'll miss it. Second shot on the way for Eversley. Up and in. Eccles one, clinch nothing here early in the first. Here come the Panthers. Wesley will give it up to West. Back out top to Karasu. Panthers working it around. Wesley's gonna drive in now, pull up. Too hard. West with the rebound, she'll put it back off the rim. Eversley with the rebound for Eccles. They'll give it up. Another myth and got her own rebound back up and in. Let's see, no basket. They're gonna call the foul that was. They're gonna call that on Echo, the block foul. That's number 12. Hayes got her own rebound, put it back up and in, but they said she fouled her. So Echo still leads one to nothing here early in the first. Here come the Panthers. West with the ball, they get it to Karasu. 
We're gonna have another foul, and that's gonna be on number 15, Jones. It'll be her first foul. Panthers keep possession. Good pass by Angel. Turn around, jump shot, up and in by Small. Two to one now, clinch on top. No, they said she walked, my bad. Said she traveled. Still one to nothing, Echoes leads. Echoes with the ball, Small to get the steal. She'll give it out to Karasu. Karasu dribble all the way, good pass down low to Angel. Angel will miss a layup. Echoes with the rebound, here comes Echoes. One to nothing, Echoes still on top. Passing it around, there's a jump shot by Eversley. Up and in, good shot. Eversley with three points now, three to nothing. Echoes on top, Angel with the ball. She'll dribble in, jump, missed the goal. Wesley with the rebound, she'll put it back up. She'll draw a foul. Foul is on number 12, Hayes, and that's gonna be foul number two on her. That'll put Wesley at the free throw line for clinch. Three to nothing, Echoes ahead right now. First shot off the rim. Coach Chase will bring Small back down to the other end now. Second shot on the way for Wesley. Up and in, good shot. Three to one now. Panthers jump in the press. They got her trapped. Carousel grabbed the ball. Oh, they called a foul. I thought it was gonna be a jump ball. That'll be Carousel's first foul. Three to one, Echoes still on top. They're bringing it in, Panthers stay in a press. They got a trap again. Good passing by Echoes. They'll get it across half court. Take their time now. Jones with the ball. She'll give it up to Eversley. Jones to dribble around. Oh, 32, Coppedge will pull up and take the shot. She'll miss, they'll get it to Angel. She'll drive it all the way down and lay it up and in. Tied ball game, three to three. Panthers stay in the press. Uh, oh, they caught a foul on Wesley. No, 21 on West. That'll be her first foul. Panthers stay in the press, three to three. My, my comes in for the Panthers now, number three. Good job by West, she'll knock it away. She needs help. Panthers got her trapped again. 10 second violation, they couldn't get it across. Good defense by the Panthers. My, my will bring the ball in to Wesley. Here come the Panthers, all tied up, three apiece. Panthers trying to work it down low. Hadn't took a shot from outside yet. Wesley will get it down to Small. Oh, good defense in there by Eversley. Oh no, that wasn't Eversley, that was uh, Jones. Wes Wesley will pull up with a jumper, she'll make it. Panthers lead now five to three. Good ball handling by Eversley. She'll pass it over to Coppage. Oh, she missed a layup. Here come the Panthers now. My, my with the ball. She'll take it all the way. She'll lay it up and in. Seven to three now, clinch on top. Press is working for the Panthers. My, my will give it up to West. Back to Angel, over to Wesley. Oh, they said uh, Angel traveled, so it'll be a Panther turnover. Clinch seven, Echoes three. Halfway through the first here. Echoes will throw it all the way across into Radney. Radney with the ball. Oh, they're gonna say she pushed off. That'll be her first foul.
The referees are talking. I don't know what it. I think they're setting the ball up. Wales will come into the game for clinch now, along with 22, which is Church. Panthers with the ball there in white. Wales will give it back up to Mama. The Wesley back to Wales. Oh, she saves the ball. Trying to get it down low to small, and it comes off her fingertips. Good defense by Eccles. Panthers stay in a press. Seven to three, clinch on top. I have a good steal by Angel. She'll take it, lay it up and in. Angel with four points tonight. Nine to three now, clinch on top. They have her trapped. She needs help. She'll get it out. Good job by the Panther defense. There's another steal by Angel. She's going to drive it all the way to the basket, lay it up. She missed it, got a rebound, up and in. 11 to three now, clinch on top. Here comes Eccles. They get it across half court. Coppage, good job by Angel. She'll knock it away. Great save by Eccles. She needs some help. She'll get rid of it. There's a long three. Eccles will miss it. Wesley with the rebound for Clinch. 11 to three, Clinch on top. Eccles will knock it out of bounds. Mm. Clinch will keep possession. Up 11 to three. Angel with the ball now. She'll dribble back up top. Panthers trying to get it down low. They get it to Angel. Good defense in there by Eccles. They get the rebound. They got to hurry up and get across the court. There they go. They found one open. Good job there. It's Coppage with the ball. Or Eversley with the ball. She'll lose it to Wesley. Wesley will bounce it down. We're going to have a foul. Mm, on Eversley, that'll be her first foul. Panthers will keep possession. Karasua check back in now for Clinch. Small will take a seat and get her a breaker. Eleven to three, Clinch on top. My, my, with the ball, she'll give it up to Wesley. Over to Karasu, down low to Angel. Turn around, jump shot, off the rim. Good rebound in there by Wales. They're fighting for it. Number 15, Jones, she took it. She had it and held on to it. She wasn't going to let nobody get the ball. Panthers stay in a press. Panthers stay in it. Eversley with the ball. They have her trapped. She needs some help. She needs help. Good job by her to get it away. She'll get it out to Hayes. Hayes, a good pass. Oh, they missed it. Wells with the ball. She'll throw it out to my mind. Over to Angel, back to my mind. Up and in. Great passing by the Panthers. Four points for my mind now. 13 to three, clinch on top. And Eccles wants a timeout, so we'll take one, too. We'll be right back. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912-490-7142. All right, everyone. Good evening. Welcome back to Creek Box. I'm Alan Hanley along with my buddy Daniel. We're live here in Homerville to watch a great girls game. Clinch County is hosted Eccles County. Game two tonight. The boys will play. Uh 
And it's also senior night, so y'all stick around in between the games. They'll honor all the senior players on the girls and the boys. Clinch up 13 to three with 120 to go in the first quarter. We have a jump ball. Clinch will keep possession. Karasu will bring the ball in for Clinch. Good job by Everson. Oh, Angel will come by and take it from her. My mile will get it over to West. Trying to get it down low. Angel up and in. She was trying to get it to Wales, I think. Eight points tonight for Angel. 15 to three, clinch on top. Echo struggling to get it across. There's another turnover. Angel will take it. She'll pull up. And I guess they're gonna call that on Angel. Here comes Echoes now. Panther just smothering them with that defense. West will knock it out of bounds. Echoes keeps possession. 15 to three, clinch on top. Echoes was up three to nothing. The first two minutes. Jones with the ball. She'll get it to Coppage. Back to Jones. Long three by Jones off the rim. Karasu with the rebound. 30 seconds to go here in the first. Karasu will pick her dribble up. She'll give it to Angel. 20 seconds to go in the first. Angel looking, she'll give it to West. Down to my my. 12 seconds. Wales trying to drive, she'll lose the ball. 10 seconds. Wales will knock it out of bounds. Echoes with possession. Nine seconds to go here in the first. 15 to three, clinch on top. Here we go. Seven, five, three, two. One, you got to throw it up and the clock will go off. So that after one quarter, clinch 15, echoes three. We'll be back in just a second. everybody welcome back to creek bot i have to get me a drink of coke in between the first and second quarter we're fitting to start the second quarter clint 15 echo three zai's sitting out a little bit her knees a little tender so coach chase is keeping her on the bench that's why we hadn't seen her in the game tonight we got a big game friday in atkinson Lady Panthers have to win to be able to host the region tournament here next week. Uh, that game will start at six Friday. Creek Box will be there. We'll bring you that game live. Eccles will shoot a three. Small with the rebound. She'll give it up to Angel. All the way down to my mind. Good job. Up and in. Great job by Grady. Six points for my mind tonight. 17 to three. Clinch on top. We're gonna have a foul. Let's see who they're gonna call that on. I don't know if they, I don't guess they called a foul. It was on West. Kerry says it was on West. So that'll be her second foul. Coppage with the ball for Eccles. Good defense by Clinch. Got her trapped, she needs some help. They'll get it across. Got it down to Hayes. There's another steal by Angel. 
She'll dribble, lay it all the way up and in. 10 for Angel now. 19 to three, clinch on top. Panthers just smothering them in that press. Echoes get it out, there's another turnover. Angel with it again. She'll give it to Mama, back to Angel. Oh, we're gonna have a foul. No, they said she she walked. My mom took an extra step before she got it got it off. Williams will come in the game now for Eccles County, number 42. Eccles will dribble out of it. She'll pick her dribble up. Good job. They'll get it to Eversley. It's a long three by Eversley up and in. Good shot. Six points for Eversley now tonight. She has all the points for Eccles. 19 to six now, clinch on top. Karasu with the ball now. She'll give it up to Mai Mai. As Karasu, she'll take a long three off the rim. Oh, Wesley had to rebound. Good job by, we got a jump ball called. Eversley will snatch it away. Clinch has possession though. Karasu bringing it in for the Panthers. She'll get it to Mai Mai. Good job by Mai Mai. She'll dribble in and lay it off the backboard. Eight for her tonight. 21 to six, clinch on top. Eversley will turn it over. Wesley with the steal. She'll shoot, miss. Angel at, back up and in. 23 to six now, clinch on top. 540 to go in the second. Oh! She almost half court, she had to get rid of it. Coppins didn't realize she was right there at the line. Angel will drive in and lay it up and in. 14 for Angel tonight. 25 to six. Eccles wants a timeout, so we'll take one too. We'll be back in just a second. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches and necklaces and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Alright, we're back. Daniel's giving me the thumbs up. I was watching the coaches talk. Eccles coach. Clinch wasn't ready. They're going, here comes Eccles. They'll dribble down, but the Panthers will run out. 25 to six here in the second. Eccles was up three to nothing. Clinch has went on a 25 to three run. Williams with the ball. They'll slap it out of her hands. They're going to call a foul. And that's going to be on Wesley for the Panthers, and that will be foul number one on her. Eccles with possession. Jones will bring it in for Eccles. They're going to dribble around. Eversley back to Jones. Good defense by the Panthers. Angel will kick it. He's trying to bounce, pass it down low. Good job by Angel. Yeah, I see that, that. I noticed that before the game. Long three by Jones. She'll overshoot it. Oh, Karasu tipped it. Trying to get the rebound. It went off her fingertips out of bounds. Eccles will keep possession. They'll get it down to Williams. Good job by Wesley to get the steal. For Clint, she'll dribble out of it. She'll give it to Angel, down low to Small, puts it on the dribble, try to get a little bit closer, she'll miss the shot. Karasu slapping at it. Oh boy, my my almost stole the ball. Back court, they're gonna call that on Eccles. That was Coppage, no 33, that was Bone that come across and took it back court. 
So another Eccles turnover. Here comes Clint, 25 to six. Clinch up halfway through the second. Small will give it up to Angel, back to Mama. Over to Karasu. Wesley just inside the three-point line, off the front of the rim. Bone with the rebound for Eccles. Here comes Eccles. Eversley with the ball now. To give it up to Jones, will drive in, lay it up and in. And one. Foul will be on Karasu. That'll be foul number two on Karasu. Jones first basket tonight. 25 day to clinch on top. Jones at the free throw line. Up and in, good shot. 25 to nine, clinch on top. West and Wales will check in for clinch. Karasu and Wesley will take a seat. Here come the Panthers now. 25 to nine, clinch on top. Small with the ball. She'll dribble around one, pull up, 10 foot jumper, she'll miss. Wells trying to save it. She'll throw it in all the way to Jones. Jones, good pass to Bone. Off the backboard, up and in. 25 to 11 now. Echoes on a six to nothing run here. Wells with the ball. She's trying to get it down to Small. Up and in, good job by Small. 27 to 11, clinch on top. Jones will dribble across half court, trying to get it down low to Williams. Oh, good job by Angel. Oh, they said she stepped out of bounds. Thought Angel had saved it and threw it back to bounce it off Jones, but she stepped on the line. Eversley with a three off the rim. West with the rebound. She'll get it out to my my over to Angel, lay it up and in. 16 points for Angel tonight, 29 to 11, clinch on top. Panthers jump in that press. Echoes does a great job. Jones will get it across half court. Eversley setting it up now. Down to Jones, she thought about it. She'll pull up, shoot, overshot the rim. Angel with the rebound. She'll go all the way down to Mama. Lay it up and in. Good pass. 10 points for Mama. 31 to 11 now. Clinch back up by 20. Jump in the press. Here comes Echoes. Bones with the ball. She'll turn it over to Angel. Hmm. Whitney Merriweather says, let's go Panthers. We appreciate her tuning in. Man, we want to remind everybody to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a thousand subscribers now. We're trying to get them up, y'all. Keep spreading the word. We're going to do some rec ball basketball that'll be starting here in the next two weeks. And uh, hope to have a big crowd viewing that to get to watch some of the young kids play at the rec park for AC Cooper and them. That ought to be fun and exciting. Tucker's going to check into the game for clinch now. 154 to go in the first half. Eversley's on the line for Eccles. She has six points. 31 to 11, clinch on top. Good shot by Eversley. Seven now for her. Wesley will check in for clinch. Second shot on the way, up and in. 31-13, clinch on top. They get out to Wales, back to Karasu. They give it to Angel, 140 to go in the first half. 31-13, clinch on top. Hey, 
12. Trying to get it back to Angel. She overthought, overthrew it. Radney with the rebound. Bones will let it roll off her fingertips and out of bounds, so Clinch will get the turnover. Here come the Panthers, Angel with the ball. She'll give it up to Wesley, 120 to go here in the, in the first half. Oh, Bone will run up there and fouled her. Got a little over excited. That'll be her first foul though. Good hustle by Bone. There's a turnover by the Panthers. They'll get it to Eversley. She'll get across half court for Eccles. 31-13, clinch on top. Jones will dribble in, back to Eversley. Eversley will pull up at the free throw line. Back to Jones, oh, and they said she traveled. Eccles will turn it over. Here come the Panthers. 57 seconds to go here in the first half. Wesley gonna dribble out. She'll give it back up to Angel. Back to Small. Over to Karasu. We got 40 seconds to go now. Back to Wales. Wales will give it back up to Angel. Over to Small. Angel with the ball now. 30 seconds to go. Angel has it. 25 seconds. She'll get it out to Small. Now back to Angel, 20 seconds. Panthers gonna try to hold it to the last shot. Wesley with the ball down to Karasu, good pass back over to Wells. Oh, she missed it, used the backboard just a little too much. Good steal by Wesley, she'll give it up to Small. Oh, and she'll miss it. And that's gonna get us to the half. Clinch 31, Eccles 13. We're gonna take a halftime break and we'll be right back. Hey, I'm Tom Kennedy, and it's been my honor to serve as your mayor of Homerville for the past six years. Now I'd like to serve you as Clinch County's next sheriff. I'm a firm believer in public service and community involvement. I want to improve the sheriff's department's involvement in our community. Together, we can take a more proactive approach in making our community a better, safer place to live and raise our families. God bless Clinch County, and go Panthers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. And then a Walker Jones. You know Walker Jones is the automotive superstore. But did you know we're also the super service center? That's right. With more than 56 bays, Walker Jones does as much service on all major brands as all the other service centers in town combined. And we're loaded with experienced professional ASC certified mechanics to get the job done right the first time. Hey, I'm Jim, coming down to see us for service at the home of the Lifetime Warranty. Lifetime. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. 
You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! You're watching Backroad Sports on Creekbox TV. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Jerry J's Hog and Bones in Homerville is the restaurant for any time of day, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or that special holiday meal. From pancakes to pulled pork and chicken salad to ribeye steak, Jerry J's Hog and Bones has the best food and service around. Oh yeah, and don't forget our great catering service. Go Panthers! At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912 490 7142. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches and necklaces and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Hey, I'm Tom Kennedy, and it's been my honor to serve as your mayor of Homerville for the past six years. Now I'd like to serve you as Clinch County's next sheriff. I'm a firm believer in public service and community involvement. I want to improve the sheriff's department's involvement in our community. Together, we can take a more proactive approach in making our community a better, safer place to live and raise our families. God bless Clinch County and go Panthers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. 
Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. And then a Loki Walker Jones. You know Walker Jones is the automotive superstore. But did you know we're also the super service center? That's right. With more than 56 bays, Walker Jones does as much service on all major brands as all the other service centers in town combined. And we're loaded with experienced professional ASC certified mechanics to get the job done right the first time. Hey, I'm Jim, coming down to see us for service at the home of the Lifetime Warranty. Lifetime. Camping World of Valdosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Hi, good evening everyone. Welcome to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley along with my buddy Daniel. We're getting ready to start the third quarter here in Homerville with Clinch leading Eccles County 31 to 13. Eccles big score is Eversley with eight points and Jones has three points along with Boone has two. Clinch County you have Angel with 16, My My with 10, Small with two and Wesley with three. So we're starting the third quarter now. Eccles is in black, Clinch is in white. Eversley, jump shot, she'll miss. Angel with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. Wesley at the top, they get it down low to Small. Oh, she was tripped. Good move she made. And Williams got into her a little bit. She, I don't think she did it intentionally. So that will be Williams' first foul. Panthers keep possession. Karasu will bring the ball in for Clinch. She'll get it out to Wesley. Back over to Angel, long three, got it, boom! First three tonight for the Panthers, 19 for Angel tonight. She's usually number two, but she's wearing 24 tonight. Good job by Wesley, basket put back up and in. 36-13 now, Panthers stay in a press. Oh, we're gonna have a foul. That one will go on West. And that's gonna be her third foul. Got to be careful here, early in the third. Oh, good job, good save there by, oh, Wesley will come from behind and knock it out of Hayes' hand. But Angel's wearing 24 tonight in honor of Kobe Bryant. That's one of her, or the, her best basketball player, I think. Kobe Bryant. All right. I've been calling him Kobe. Daniel, correct me. It's Kobe Bryant. Uh, and he was a good basketball player. I'm a Michael Jordan fan myself, so. <laughs> that was back in my day. Yeah, that's right. That's Daniel's day with Kobe. Hey. All right, Eccles with the ball. Trailing 36-13. Eversley's going to slow it down now. Good defense by the pen. Good move there by Jones. She'll miss it. 
Wesley with the rebound for Clinch. Here come the Panthers. She'll give it over to West. Down low to Small. She'll drive in, hit the back of the backboard. She'll miss it. Rebound in there by Jones. She'll dribble out now. She'll come all the way down. Oh, she does a good job. She'll get it to Bone. Bone's holding it. She's got to get rid of it. She'll dribble out of it. Wesley trying to knock it, knock it away. Good job by Jones to come back and get the ball. Eversley trying, well, oh, they gonna get her for reaching in on that one. She's knocked it away two or three times tonight. Got away with it, that time they'll call it. That'll be two on Wesley. She'll take a seat and my mile will come in for the Panthers. Wales will come in for West. West has three fouls. 36-13, clinch on top of Eccles. 5.55 to go in the third. Remind everybody, hang around. We got game two coming up after this one with the boys. Right after this game, uh, in between both games, the uh, seniors will be recognized for clinch. It's senior night here tonight. Here come the Panthers. 36-13, clinch on top. Karasu with the ball. Joe, she's trying to get it down low to Angel. Good job by Coppage to knock it out of bounds. Panthers keep possession. Good pass by Karasu down to Mama. She had nowhere to go, though. She had to kick it back up. Eccles done a great job. Keep her from taking the shot down low. Wells with the ball now. She, oh, just a little too much. Good job by Mama come up. They were trying to get it down to Small. One, two, White. That's going to be Small. And that's going to be foul. Her first foul, I guess. Panthers jump back in a press now. Coppage with the basketball, and she'll take an extra step. Picked her dribble up just a little too early. Panthers with possession now. Here comes to my mind for clinch. They'll get it over to Karasu. Trying to get it to Angel. Good defense by Eccles. Eversley down there. She'll knock it out of bounds. Panthers keep possession. Karasu will bring it in for the Panthers. They're going to get it in to Angel. My, my with the ball. She'll give it up to Wales. Small turnaround jumper just off the rim. Eccles with the rebound. Here comes Jones. Back there for three. She'll get it across half court. 36-13, clinch on top. Look out, there's a long three. She got it, that's number two for her tonight. No, that's her first three, excuse me. Uh, no, that is three for her tonight. I mean, two three-pointers tonight. So it's 36 to 16 now, clinch up by 20. Everlessly, she has 11 points tonight. Coppage with the ball. She'll kick it back out to Eversley again. Back to Jones. Good job by the Panthers defense. We got it down to Jones low. Or Hayes, and she tried to use the backboard. Good pass by Angel down to my mind. And Jones will knock it away. Down to Angel this time. She'll lean into it. Got her own rebound. Up and in, plus one. 1-5, and that's going to be Jones. That'll be her second foul. That'll put Angel at the free throw line. 38-16 now, clinch on top. Up and in. Panthers stay in a press. Karasua knock it out of bounds with her foot. 
Eccles keeps possession. 39-16, clinch on top. Good job, Panthers. My, my, all over. She picked her dribble up. She needs help. Good job to get it across half court to Eversley. They'll miss it. Karasu with the rebound. She'll give it out to Angel all by herself. She'll take it and lay it up and in. 24 points tonight for Angel. 39-16, clinch on top. There's a long three. Nope, she'll miss it. 39-16. Panthers with the ball, Angel. Joey Rich, hello from Irwin County. Man, we appreciate you tuning in, Joey. Noble Strong, man, and you are right. We sure do hate the passing of Coach Noble. He's a great guy. I got the opportunity to talk to him two or three times, man. He has done a great job over there at Irwin. Just a great fella. Uh, sure we're gonna miss him. Good basket in there by 34. That is Radney be her first basket tonight. That'll make it 41 to 18, and we're gonna have a timeout, so we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance, including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! You're watching Back Road Sports on Creekbox TV. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. All right, everyone, welcome back to Creekbox TV. I'm Alan Hennon on my buddy Daniel. We are here in Homerville as Clinch County girls are beating Eccles County 41 to 18 with 224 to go in the third. Remind everybody we'll take about a 15 minute break after this game and start the boys game. Here come the Lady Panthers. Mama having a great game tonight. She has 10 points. Oh, she'll miss it. Karasu with the rebound. Put back up and in. Good job by Karasu. 43-18 now. Panthers stay in a press. Bone to get it over to Jones. She'll pick her dribble up. She needs some help. Somebody come help her. Good job by Coppage. Coppage will dribble, but no, she drug her foot. She could not stop. Another Eccles turnover. Here comes Wesley in the game for Mama. Panthers with the ball now. 43 to 18, 140 to go in the third. Carasu will give it up to Angel. Down to Wells. Oh, and she dug it. She did. Turned the ball over. She knew it. Time she did it. Eccles, I have possession now. Here comes Eversley. She has 11 tonight for Eccles. She'll give it up to Jones. Back to Eversley. Eversley trying. She's thinking about it. She's done hit two threes. She'll get it to Coppers. Turn around off the backboard up and in. Her first basket tonight. 43 to 20 now. Clinch on top. Karasu will get it down low to Wesley. She drive in. She's going to draw the foul. See who it's, it is on 32, and that's going to be Coppage. That'll be her first foul tonight. That'll put Wesley on the free throw line for Clinch. She's one for two tonight. She missed her first one. Here comes shot number two. Up and in. Good job by Wesley. 44 to 20 now. Clinch on top. 
One minute to go in the third. Clock running. Jones with the ball. She'll get it over to Eversley. Another three. She come up short. Angel with the rebound. 50 seconds. She'll give it up to Wesley. Back over to West. West will dribble in, pull up. She'll draw the foul. Coach Chase said, that's what I wanted all night. Good job by West. West will go to the free throw line. She'll get two shots. In and out. Usually an excellent free throw shooter. Lady Panthers went to Wilcox Saturday and lost. It's only their second loss. They're good job by Angel. She'll put it up and in. They were down by 18 at one point Saturday and come back and had the lead and went into overtime the last second of the game. And Lady Panthers, there's a good job by Karis who will knock it out. She'll get it that good job. She got it to Angel, Angel to Wesley. Panthers come back and tied it up, went to overtime and got beat in Eccles. So they are 19 and two. After they're 18 and two right now, if they win tonight, they'll be 19 and two. We got a foul. We'll go on Jones and that's gonna be on Wesley. And that's her third foul. And Jones will get to shoot three free throws now with one second to go in the third. First one on the way, up and in. 48-21 now. Second shot on the way. Yeah, she's shooting three, I don't know. Yeah, I, I didn't know what they were doing. She was taking a three-point shot, and the Panthers got into her. All right, here comes shot num number three on the way. Jones will put it up and in. 48-22 now, clinch lead. And that's going to get the third quarter over with. Clinch, 48. Echoes, 22. We'll take a break, and we'll be right back. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu, including our famous grilled burgers, artisan-style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. We're back. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. Man, I want to remind everybody to please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have hit a thousand subscriptions and now we're headed for 10,000. So we need everybody to subscribe. Uh, we want to thank everybody that has contributed and to get the word out and keep it. We got baseball season coming up. We hope to do a few of the baseball games. But still a lot of basketball left, we hope. Friday night will end the regular season and the region tournament will start next week. And uh, then the playoffs. All right, Eccles with the ball, 48-22, they trail. Jones will drive in and lay it up. She'll miss it. Oh, Williams fighting for the ball. It'll go out of button. No, that was Coppage. Eccles will keep possession. Good pass up and in. Good job by Eversley. She has 13 points tonight for Eccles. 48 to 24 now. Clinch on top. Wesley will drive in, pull up. Good shot. 
Wesley with five, seven, nine. She has 10 tonight. Bone with the ball. She's going to throw up one, and she'll draw the foul. Tucker got into her. Fifty to twenty-four, clinch on top. That'll put Bone at the free throw line for Eccles. First free throw on the way up and in. Good shot. Three points tonight for Bone. Second shot on the way. In and out. Rebound by Small. She'll give it up to Wesley. Here come the Panthers. Fifty to twenty-five now. Clinch on top. 6.50 to go in the game. Kick it back to Grady, over to Tucker. Wesley will dribble in, pull up, about a 20-foot jumper, in and out. Tucker will jump up, we got a jump ball. Good job by Tucker, she jump up and got a piece of the ball. Eccles has possession. Here comes Eccles. 50 to 25. Oh, Bones took that extra step before she getting coached up over there by Eccles coach. Here come the Panthers now, 50 to 25, 620 to go in the game. Coach Chase putting in some of the younger Panthers. Wesley off the backboard, up and in. 12 tonight for Wesley, 52-25. Here comes Eccles. She kick it over to Jones. Back to Eversley, there's another three. She come up short. Tucker with the rebound for Clinch. She'll give it up to Wesley. Over to Small, Small will pull up off the rim. Good job by West to get the rebound for Clinch. She'll drive in. Off the back of the rim, Small with the rebound, turn around, jump shot. She got it to fall this time. 54-25, clinch on top now. Eccles wants a timeout, so we'll take one too. We'll be back in 30 seconds. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Jerry J's Hog and Bones in Homerville is the restaurant for any time of day. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or that special holiday meal. From pancakes to pulled pork and chicken salad to ribeye steak, Jerry J's Hog and Bones has the best food and service around. Oh yeah, and don't forget our great catering service. Go Panthers! All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box. We are live here in Homerville with the Clinch County girls leading Eccles County here with five and a half minutes to go, 54 to 25. Eversley with the ball, trying to get it down low, and West will knock it out of bounds. Coach Chase going to hustle Small into the game. Harris will take a seat. Eversley with the ball. She'll give it up to Jones. Wesley fighting for it. Good hustle there by Radney. She got the rebound. She'll get it out to Bone. Williams will give it back to Jones over to, to Eversley. She's looking. Panthers are not letting her take that three. She's hit two of them tonight. Jones will dribble around. See it. 21 to White, and that is West, and that's gonna be foul number four on West. <laughs> Coach Chase will bring in Harris, my, my, and Wells, as West and Wesley and Small takes a seat. 
They said that Eccles is a one and one foul now, so Radney will go to the free throw line. 54-25, clinch on top with 450 to go in the game. Yeah. <laughs> His gut's not quite big enough. First shot up and in for Radney. Three points tonight for her. Second one on the way. Off the rim. Oh, we have a lane violation on Eccles. 54-26. Clinch on top. Grady will bring it in to Mama. Here comes Mama. She's setting it up. She'll get it out to Tucker. Tucker over the wells. Back out to Grady. Harris with the ball now. She'll give it back to Mama. Over to Tucker. Tucker with a long three. Oh, just come up short. Echoes with the rebound, 54-26, 4-20 to go in the game. Jones with the ball. She'll get it down to Radney, turn around, she'll have a foul. Come on, Danny. Put ball on that and that's gonna be on Wales, and that's gonna be foul number three on Wales. Karasu's getting ready to check back in the game for Clinch. Radney first shot, she'll miss it. Second one on the way. Radney second one up, off the rim. Wales with the rebound, she'll give it up to Grady. Grady will give it back to Wales, over to Tucker. Karasu has it now. Good job by Eccles. Eversley will get the steal. She'll good pass down to Jones. Jones will miss it. Grady will knock it out of bounds. So it'll be Eccles ball. 54-26, 350 to go. Eversley up and in. 15 points tonight for Eversley. 54-28. Over to Harris. Harris down to Karasu. She'll dribble around. She's looking. She's going to come inside. Good. Pass by Karasu. Down low to Wells. Up and in. Great job there. 56-28. Clinch on top. Here comes Eccles. Jones with the ball for Eccles. Oh, I reckon Karasu got a piece of it. Radney will throw it up. Wells. Lucky she didn't get foul number five called on her then. We knocked out of bounds. Echo to bring in a couple of subs. You have Hayes and Coppage come back in the game. Good pass, Radney wide open. She'll put it off the backboard. Five points for Radney tonight. 56-30 now, clinch on top. Here comes Clinch. She'll get it over to Harris. Back to Wells. Harris can shoot that three now. There's Tucker. She thought about it. Grady, long three off the rim. Wells will knock it away, but Jones has it for Eccles. Good pass down to Coppins. Down low, in and out. Karasu with the rebound. She'll slow it down now. 2.30 to go in the game. 56 to 30. Tucker thought about it. She'll give it, she'll give it back up to Harris. Good hustle over there by Jones. She'll knock it out of bounds. Clinch keeps possession. Want to remind everybody to hang around. We got our honor and our seniors tonight after this game. And then we'll play game two with the boys. Clinch needing a win. They've lost three in a row. Or they lost three in a row. They got a big win last night over in Brooks. Two minutes to go, 56 to 30, clinch on top. In and out, that was by Hayes. Eccles will knock it out of bed. Nope, they keep possession. 
Good job to Radney, up and in again. They've done a great job bringing that in. They found her, she's right up under the goal. 56-32 now, clinch on top. Grady will give it up to Harris. Over to Carefew, back to Grady, there it is. Long three, just off the rim. Tucker with the rebound, she'll put it up and miss. Grady with the rebound. She'll draw the foul and that's gonna be on 12 Hayes. That'll be foul number three. Man, I got to give a shout out to our sponsors. They're the reason they make this possible. We have Heritage Bank in Homerville, Tom Kennedy for Sheriff, Huey's One Stop Pizza and Wings. Man, y'all give them a call at 912-487-2338. They can hook you up with some of the best pizza and chicken wings in Homerville. Uh, Jerry J's, Hog and Bones, Burt CPA, Camping World of Alasta, Walking Joan, Walker Jones Nissan, Mike's Golf Cart, Homerville Jewelers, Lee Engineering, Lutz Brown, and Popeyes and Dairy Queen. Y'all know anybody that would like to be a sponsor? Uh, tell them to give us a call here at Creek Box. 229-300-8521, and I can hook you up. Eversley with the shot, she'll miss. Karasu with the rebound. One minute to go in the game. 57-32, Radney will push her. Like to almost push Karasu in the second row over there. That'll be foul number two on Radney. <laughs> Karasu will bring the ball in. She'll give it up to Grady. Here comes Grady. Over to Harris. Back out to Tucker. Good pass over to Wells. She'll pull up, miss the goal. Out of bounds. Echoes ball. 45 seconds to go in the game, man. Y'all stick around. We're going to let the camera play. Daniel's going to set it up. And we'll watch the seniors be honored. Lady Panthers are going to get a win and improve to 19 and 2 on the season. We'll have them live this coming Friday. We'll be on at 5.55 with tip off at six. It's always tough to get a win over in Echo, uh, Atkinson County. So man, y'all please tune in. If the Lady Panthers can get that win, they will be allowed to host the region tournament here in Homerville. Coppage with the ball, she'll give it up to Jones. Back to Coppage, will try a long three. She's gonna come off the rim. Wales with the rebound. Here comes Karasu, 10 seconds, eight seconds, six, five, three, one. That's gonna do the game. And that's it with the clinch girl beating Eccles girls, 57-32. So that'll end, that'll finish up game one. We're gonna take a break, y'all hang around, hang around and watch Clinch County honors the seniors. We're going to take a break and we'll come back live for that. We'll be right back. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912-490-7142. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces 
and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Hey, I'm Tom Kennedy, and it's been my honor to serve as your mayor of Homerville for the past six years. Now I'd like to serve you as Flint County's next sheriff. I'm a firm believer in public service and community involvement. I want to improve the sheriff department's involvement in our community. Together, we can take a more proactive approach in making our community a better, safer place to live and raise our families. God bless Clinch County and go Panthers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. And then a Loki Walker Jones. You know Walker Jones is the automotive superstore. But did you know we're also the super service center? That's right. With more than 56 bays, Walker Jones does as much service on all major brands as all the other service centers in town combined. And we're loaded with experienced professional ASC certified mechanics to get the job done right the first time. Hey, I'm Jim coming down to see us for service at the home of the Lifetime Warranty. Lifetime. Lifetime.
He's been a member of the Beta Club for four years, the track team for two years, the football team for four years, and this is his first year playing basketball. He was a member of the region champ team of football and a two-time state championship team. He was selected for second team all region in football. He, after graduation, he plans to attend Coastal Pines for welding and then later for engineering. Tonight, he is being escorted by his Aunt Prissy and Hank Royals, Senior Charles Stevens. <laughs> Senior Keyshawn Talbot. <laughs> Keyshawn is the son of Lisa Trimble and Wayne Talbot. Keyshawn has been a member of the basketball team for four years and the football team for two years. Keyshawn has started varsity basketball for three years. After graduation, Keyshawn plans to join the Air Force and pursue a career in welding. Tonight, Keyshawn is being escorted by Lisa Trimble and Wayne Tabbert. Senior Keyshawn Tabbert. Thank you for your polls. Now for the cheerleaders, senior Katie James. <laughs> Katie is the daughter of Brent and Lori James. She was a varsity softball player for four years, varsity tennis player for four years, a varsity cheerleader for three years. She was in the beta club for four years and is class president of the senior class. She's been a member of the mock trial team for four years. In 2019, Katie James was selected as CCHS homecoming queen. After graduation, Katie plans to attend the University of Georgia or the University of Alabama and pursue a degree in communication science disorders in hopes of becoming a speech language pathologist. Tonight, Katie's being escorted by her parents, Brent and Lori James. Senior Katie James. Senior Sarah Malcolm. Sarah is the daughter of Kurt and Lori Malcolm. She has been a member of the mock trial team for three years, a cheerleader for three years, and the beta club for four years. After graduation, Sarah plans to attend Georgia Southern University and pursue a degree in psychology. Tonight, Sarah is being escorted by her parents, Kurt and Lori Malcolm. Senior Sarah Malcolm. Our next senior is Riley Miller. <laughs> Riley is the daughter of Cherry and Shane Miller. She has been a member of the cheerleading team for four years and has been a member of our CCHS dual enrollment for two years. After graduation, Riley plans to attend Valdosta State and major in nursing. Tonight, she's been escorted by her parents, Cherry and Shane Miller. Senior Riley Miller. Senior Nadlin Young. Nadlin is the daughter of Crystal Walker and Tripp Rice. She has been a member of the varsity cheerleading team for three years. She's been a member of the varsity softball team for two years. She has also been an uh, active member of FCA and is currently working with dual enrollment at CCHS. While she was a softball player, she was awarded the best hitter and best pitcher in 2019, and she was also selected for first team all region in softball. After graduation, Nadlin plans to attend Valdosta State University and pursue a degree in psychology. Tonight, she is being escorted by Melissa Parr and her grandmother, Mary Jane Young. Senior Nadlin Young. Our next senior is Sanaya Small. <laughs> Sanaya is the daughter of Sophia Small and Antonio Brown. She has been a member of the basketball team, the softball team, the track team, 
in Clinch and in Albany. Our honors and awards include Best Rebounder, Coaches Award, and a member of the AB Honor Roll. After graduation, Sanai plans to attend college for, black, for track and basketball. Tonight, she's being escorted by her mother, Sophia Small. Senior, Sanaya Small. Our next senior is Shanataka Wesley. Shanataka is the daughter of Shamika Roger and Jerry Wesley. She has been on the basketball team for four years, been a member of the Beta Club, and is currently taking college classes through dual enrollment. She is an All-A Honor Roll student and has earned the Most Improved in Basketball Award. After graduation, Shanataka plans to attend Spelman to be an RN and to work up to her bachelor's. Tonight, she is being escorted by Shamika and Gary Rogers. Senior, Shanataka Wesley. Senior, Nyla West. Nyla is the daughter of Chandra Andrews and David West. She has played on the basketball team for four years and has participated in track for four years. Nyla received the Sixth Man Award during her freshman and sophomore years. After graduation, Nyla plans to attend Wiregrass Georgia Technical College for cosmetology. Tonight, she is being escorted by her parents, Chandra Andrews and David West. Seniors that you see before you represent the foundation of Clinch County High School. They have excelled in the classroom and on the field to enrich their lives as well as to create a positive attitude among the halls of our school. We thank you for all your dedication to making Clinch County the best. Let's give these seniors a big round of applause. That concludes our senior night activities. Thank you. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Lutz, Brown, Pigler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Pigler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! You're watching Backroad Sports on Creekbox TV. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. 
drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Jerry J's Hog and Bones in Homerville is the restaurant for any time of day, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or that special holiday meal. From pancakes to pulled pork and chicken salad to ribeye steak, Jerry J's Hog and Bones has the best food and service around. Oh yeah, and don't forget our great catering service. Go Panthers! At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912 490 7142. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches and necklaces and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Hey, I'm Tom Kennedy, and it's been my honor to serve as your mayor of Homerville for the past six years. Now I'd like to serve you as Flint County's next sheriff. I'm a firm believer in public service and community involvement. I want to improve the sheriff's department's involvement in our community. Together, we can take a more proactive approach in making our community a better, safer place to live and raise our families. God bless Clinch County and go Panthers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. And then along came Walker Jones. You know Walker Jones is the automotive superstore. But did you know we're also the super service center? That's right. With more than 56 bays, Walker Jones does as much service on all major brands as all the other service centers in town combined. And we're loaded with experienced professional ASC certified mechanics to get the job done right the first time. Hey, I'm Jim coming down to see us for service at the home of the Lifetime Warranty. Lifetime. Lifetime. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Aldosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year.
Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! You're watching Backroad Sports on Creekbox TV. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Jerry J's Hog and Bones in Homerville is the restaurant for any time of day, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or that special holiday meal. From pancakes to pulled pork and chicken salad to ribeye steak, Jerry J's Hog and Bones has the best food and service around. Oh yeah, and don't forget our great catering service. Go Panthers! At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912-490-7142. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches and necklaces and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Hey, I'm Tom Kennedy and it's been my honor to serve as your mayor of Homerville for the past six years. Now I'd like to serve you as Clinch County's next sheriff. I'm a firm believer in public service and community involvement. I want to improve the sheriff's department's involvement in our community. Together, we can take a more proactive approach in making our community a better, safer place to live and raise our families. God bless Clinch County and go Panthers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. 
Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. And then a Loki Walker Jones. You know Walker Jones is the automotive superstore. But did you know we're also the super service center? That's right. With more than 56 bays, Walker Jones does as much service on all major brands as all the other service centers in town combined. And we're loaded with experienced professional ASC certified mechanics to get the job done right the first time. Hey, I'm Jim coming down to see us for service at the home of the Lifetime Warranty. Lifetime. Camping World of Valdosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! You're watching Backroad Sports on Creekbox TV. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley along with my buddy Daniel. We're getting ready for game two. I'm going to step back when they announce the starters. Number 12, Evan Gaster. Number 14, Cole Church. There's your starters for Eccles County. Now here comes the Clinch County starters. And now your starting lineup for the Panthers. Number one, Keyshawn Tolbert. Number three, Braylon Kinlaw. Number 12, Zach Robbins. Number 20, Keyshawn Crumity. And number 21, Dunzer Stevens. All right, there's your starting lineup for the Clinch County Panthers. And Coach Terrence is letting all the seniors start tonight. Man, that's good. They've had a good career here in Homerville, and they're surely going to be missed next season. Uh, senior night, Daniel got a good view of the parents and the players. They were recognized. 
Uh, we have some kids that generally don't get to start, play a little bit. Man, it's good to see Kenlaw back, number three. He's uh, got a partial torn ACL, and he's been out, man, for the last four weeks, and he's going to try to come in and play a little bit here at the last home game on senior night. Cromedy will win the tip, and he'll kick it back to Robbins. So Robbins with the ball. He'll give it up to Talbert. All five of the starter seniors, Kinlaw with a long three, Cromedy with the rebound, he'll put it back up and in. Clinch two, Echoes nothing. Clinch is in white with red bottoms and Echoes is all green. No. Yeah. Kinlaw's leg, you can tell, is hurting. Good job by Echoes. They'll get it down low to Cast Caster and he'll score for Echoes. Two to two now. Kinlaw down low, he'll lay it up and in. Coach Terrence will want a timeout, and I think he's going to let Kinlaw sit down. He's limping, man, bad. He got in and scored a basket, though, man. It's great to see him on the court. Sad night for he, – he played so good his sophomore and junior year, and he was getting better and messed his knee up earlier in the year. And – Good to see him on the court. That'll bring in Jeremiah Johnson, who is also a senior, number 11. Uh, he's in the game, six foot seven center for Clinch. He looks a lot taller out there now because everybody's about 5'10 on the court. Here comes Eccles County. They have the ball. Down low to number 40. And that is lean. Hey. So here we go at four to four. Oh, there's a steal by Eccles. Great job, number 12. He'll take it and lay it up and in. Caster with four points now. Eccles six, Clint four. Eccles out front early here in the game. Talbert to give it down to Cromedy. Over to Robbins. Back down to Jeremiah Johnson. Cromley looking. He's going to dribble in, kick it back to Robbins. Johnson back over to Cromley. Down to Robbins. A long three. Got it to fall. Good job. Robbins with a three point basket. Here comes Echols now. Clinch on top. Seven. Echols has six. Good job. Oh, thought it was a foul. 40 did. Lean did. Good job by Jeremiah. He got all ball. Robbins back down to Cromedy. He'll lay it up off the backboard and miss it. Jeremiah will put it up and in. Nine to six now. Clinch County's up. Here comes Eccles. They're going to dribble around. Working it, they've hit leans at a couple of baskets down low for Eccles. And get it back up to Church. Church thought about shooting the three. Good job by Talbert. He'll come out and steal it for the Panthers. He'll take and lay it up with one hand. Good job. Panthers 11, Eccles six now here in the first. Here comes Echo. They'll get it over. Back out to McLeod. They're trying to get it down low. There's another turnover. Jeremiah with the steal. He'll kick it out to Talbert. Talbert down to Dozier. Dozier, shoot, they got a piece of it. He got slapped in the eye, it looked like. <laughs> Back to Talbert over to Robbins. Talbert holding the ball. There's Cromley with a long three. It'll come up short. Here comes uh, Echo McLeod with the ball. He'll dribble around all the way across to the big guy, Church. He'll dribble in. He'll bring it back out. Down low to McLean. He'll kick it out. Jeremiah with another pack. He got Castor again. 
Here comes Talbert. He'll kick it back to Robbins. Will he save it? He did. Great hustle by Zach Robbins. Talbert will fake it. He'll throw it down to Jeremiah. Back to Talbert. Cromley was wide open. Robbins will take the three. Got it to fall. Good job by Zach. Six points for Robbins tonight. Clinch 14, Eccles six. Eccles needing a basket. They were up six to four. Long three off the rim. Robbins with the rebound. He'll dribble around. He, he'll give it back up to Talbert. Dozier sliding back in two to trying to get him the ball. Out to Talbert. Robin's gonna change the play now. He'll give it back up to Talbert. 2.59 to go in the first. Clinch 14, Echo 6. Fouls on number 21 for Clinch. And that is Dozier. That'll be his first foul. Here comes Eccles now. McLeod with the ball. He'll give it up over to Coster. Down low to McLean, and he'll lose the ball. Panthers will get it back. 14 to 6. Eccles are going to start a press now. Cromley with it. Down low to Jeremiah, and he'll lay it up and in. Thought he was going to miss it. He was a little too deep. 16 to 6 now, clinch on top. Eccles needing a basket now. Long three by Eccles. He'll miss the goal. Robbins with the rebound. He'll dribble it across half court. Talbert setting it up. There goes good screen there. Grab basket. Oh, he'll lose the ball. Oh, they said he traveled. I thought he was going to try to lay it up off the basket. He hesitated a second. So Dozier will turn it over, and here comes Eccles. 16 to 6, clinch on top. Good save there by McLeod. They get it down to church, and there's another big block by Jeremiah. He's just so tall. You can see Church is smiling. He's a man, what, what are you supposed to do? Uh, Jeremiah looks eight foot tall out there with everybody that's 5'10". Good rebound in there. And a reverse layup, he'll miss it. Good hustle there by 24. Vetter for Eccles County. Robbins will set the play up for the Panthers now. 155 to go in the first, 16 to six, clinch on top. Talbert back to Robbins. He thought about pulling the trigger again. He's wanting another three. They come out now. They're let, not letting him, there it is. No, oh, he was trying to get it back door to Dozier. He's used to getting it to them tall kids down there. Dozier's not quite that tall. Good hustle by Dozier. That'll be a Panther turnover, leading 16 to six. 1.30 to go in the first quarter. McLeod with the ball, he'll give it up. Back to him. He'll kick it out to Vetter. Robbins will knock it away. Good hustle there, he'll lay it down to lean off the backboard up and in. Four points for Lean now, 16 to eight, clinch on top. Talbert drives to the goal, he'll miss. And Chert and McLeod will knock it out of bounds. So Clinch will keep possession. 105 to go in the first. Robbins is gonna bring it in. He'll get it to Jeremiah, he'll turn around and just lay it up and in. Six for Jeremiah tonight, 18 to eight. 55 seconds to go in the first. Lean back over to, oh, good job there by Church. He gave him a little head fake, got Jeremiah up this time. 
18 to 10, clinch on top now. Back to Robbins. Robbins will step back and he'll give it to Jeremiah. Good screen there by Dozier. Back to Jeremiah, down to Dozier. Dozier, turn around, jump shot. He'll come up short. I think they got a piece of it again. Here comes Eccles now, 15 seconds, 18 to 10. Lean with the ball. Now he'll give it up to McLeod. Good defense. Uh-oh, there's Jeremiah with the steal. He'll go behind his back. And he'll miss the layup. Lean with the rebound. And that'll get us the first quarter in with Clinch leading 18 to 10. We'll be back in 30 seconds. The Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. All right, everyone, welcome back to Creek Box. I'm Alan Henley along with my buddy Danielson. We're live here in Homerville as Clinch County host Eccles County. Panthers up 18 to 10 over the Wildcats of Eccles. Uh, Clinch is in white with red bottoms and uh, Eccles all green. Just starting the second quarter. Good job, Jenkins. He'll draw the seat. They're pointing. Foul on number two. It must have been on Zach Robbins, 12, I guess. That'll be Zach's first foul. Eccles will keep possession. There's a lean down there, he'll step up. They get it down low to Church. Trying to use the backboard. Eccles will knock it out of bounds. Now they're gonna jump into a press. Robbins will bring it in, he'll get it to Williams. Back to Robbins now. Little Jeremiah Williams is in the game now. He'll get it over to Robbins. All the way across to Talbert. There's a three off the front of the rim. Lean with the rebound for Eccles. Churchill give it up to Jones. Robbins will knock it out of bounds, so Eccles keeps possession. 18 to 10, clinch on top here in the second quarter. Trying to get it down to Church. Church was trying to drive. He knocked Talbert down. Back to Church, or McLeod now. There's a long three by Vetter. He'll miss it. Simon with the rebound. Give it up to Robbins. There's another three. Oh, off the rim. First one he's missed tonight. 18 to 10, 640 to go in the second. Church was trying to drive. We got a foul. They're gonna call a charge on Caster. That'll be his first foul. 18 to 10. Twenty-three comes in for Clinch. Kerry, I don't have twenty-three on my roster. Who's twenty-three? Lee. Yeah, I think you're right. I remember him from the Rec Park. Yeah. He's a pretty good ball player at the Rec Park. The so Lee's in the game for Clinch. Little Jeremiah, they come out and storm on him. They get it down low. Simon will miss. Here come the Wildcats now. Vetter playing good defense for Eccles. 18 to 10, clinch on top by eight. Vetter with the ball. He thought about it. He'll dribble around. 
all the way over to look in a long three by Jones and he'll miss. Shout out to my classmate Kenneth Johnson who's watching from Virginia, watching his cousin Jeremiah Johnson. Carrie said, "Give a shout out to Kenneth P. Butt Johnson. Tillis P. Butt. Kenneth. Kenneth P. Butt Johnson. P. Butt Johnson. And Virginia is watching. He's watching Jeremiah play some basketball tonight. So we want to give him a shout out. There's Simon with a basket off the backboard. Put clinch up 20 to 10 now. 5:40 to go in the second. We appreciate everybody tuning in, man." Tell him to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Kerry. <laughs> we're trying to get up to the 10,000 mark now. We're over 1,000. Me and Ken the seniors. Lakeland was beating us by 16 at halftime, and Ken hit seven three points. <laughs> <laughs> Kerry was saying that when they were seniors, Lakeland was beating them by 16. And Kenneth hit seven three-pointers and Clinch come back and won the game. What year was that? 70 what? <laughs> 1991. <laughs> Panthers have the ball. They'll give it up to Talbert. 20 to 10, Clinch on top here. Halfway through the second. There's Jeremiah Williams with a three and he'll get it to fall. He's good for three or four each game. 23 to 10 now, clinch on top. Here come the Wildcats of Echoes. Hmm. McLeod with the ball. Back to McLeod, over to Vetter. Down to Lean, good pass. He's wide open down low, good job there. Lean with six points tonight for Echoes. Half the points, 23 to 12 now. Clinch on top. Robbins will pull the trigger, long three, too hard. Simon with the rebound for Clinch. He'll put it in and out. Look out, Lee with the rebound. He'll put it up. He'll draw the foul. The foul will be on number 30, and that is McLeod. That'll be his first foul, and that's going to put Lee on the free throw line. Yeah, he had the charge. That's right. You're right there. That's his second one. Luke will come into the game now for Eccles and Church will take a seat. Along with McLeod, I'm seeing who they brought in. They brought Rogers in, I think. Lee with the basket, 25 to 12 now, clinch up. Here comes Eccles. They'll kick it over to Galinde. Oh man, we're gonna have Lee. 23, that'll be his first foul. A foul Vetter was trying to drive. And Lee closed the gap down at the last second. So that'll be his first foul. Panthers will steal the ball. Here comes Clinch up 25 to 12. Good pass down low to Simon, up and in. Four points for Simon tonight. Nichols wants a quick timeout. We'll take one too, 27 to 12. Clinch on top. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Jerry J's Hog and Bones in Homerville is the restaurant for any time of day. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or that special holiday meal. From pancakes to pulled pork and chicken salad to ribeye steak, Jerry J's Hog and Bones has the best food and service around. Oh yeah, and don't forget our great catering service. Go Panthers! 
All right, Daniel gives me the thumb up now. He was cutting my throat to begin with. I come in a little early. Panthers lead 27 to 12 here with 3.30 to go in the first half. Eccles with the ball. All the way back across. Vetter trying to get it. Simon will knock it out. So Eccles keeps possession. Vetter brings it in to Jones. Back to Vetter. Get it down low to, to Luke. Luke will kick it out. Great defense by the Panthers. They're hustling. There's a long three off the back of the rim. Eccles with the rebound. Luke has it. Kick it out all the way back to Jones now. Back to McLeod. See, we got a turnover. 25 on Clinch. And that's going to be Simon. That'll be his first foul. Echoes bringing it in. They're trying to get it down low to Luke, and he's going to walk. I don't think he liked the call too much. He'll hustle back down the court. 27-12, Panthers on top. 2.50 to go in the first half. Tucker Robbins is in the game now. A long three by Jeremiah Williams. He'll miss Tucker with the rebound. He'll give it up to his brother, Zach. Tucker has it. He'll dribble around, looking. Oh, he's trying to hit the lead back door. He couldn't get it there. Good defense by Eccles. Here comes Eccles now. Vetter with the ball. Back over to Vetter. He's looking at it. Back to Jones. Jones, a long three in and out. Lee with the rebound for the Panthers. He'll give it up to Jeremiah. Here comes Clinch. Tucker's going to shoot a long three off the rim. Jeremiah comes in and he'll grab the rebound. Tucker's got a second one. Nope. He'll give it to Jeremiah. He'll pull the trigger off the rim. 33 Cox with the rebound for Eccles. 1.45 to go in the first half. Clinch leading 27 to 12. Cox with the ball. He'll lose it. Jenkins will steal the ball for Clinch. We'll give it up to Tucker. He passes down low to Jenkins. Good job, and he'll miss, but he'll draw the foul. And it's going to be on Jones, number three. That'll be his first foul. Jenkins at the free throw line for Clinch. First shot on the way up and in. 28-12 now, clinch lead. Big Dozier's coming in the game now, Stevens. Lee will sit down and take a seat. Jenkins' second shot on the way. Up and in. 29-12, clinch on top. 125 to go in the first half. He'll kick it all the way down to Cox. Good job by Dozier to keep it. He'll knock it out of bounds. They were trying to get it low down inside to Luke. Dozier will knock it away. Dozier, <laughs> he plays defense tough down low. He's a football player with a football body and a basketball uniform. I think they called that one on Dozier too, didn't they, Gary? He's blocking down low. And he's a great kid, Dozier is. Eccles with the ball. Oh, he's going to pull up with the jump ball. Tucker Robbins with the rebound. He'll kick it out to Jenkins. He'll go. He got in too deep. He'll miss the layup. Eccles will save it. 50 seconds to go in the first half. It's 29 to 12. Clinch on top. Oh, and they're going to say Galinda. Traveled, he'll turn it over. Here comes Clinch. Tucker with the ball, 45 seconds to go. He'll kick it over to his brother, Zach. 
Thack has two big threes. He'll pull up just inside the three-point line and make that one. Robbins with eight points tonight. 31 to 12, clinch on top. 25 seconds to go in the first half. Vetter with the ball now. Good defense by the Panthers. They got him covered. He's got to need some help. Oh, Zach almost gets the steal. Nine seconds. There's the steal. Jeremiah's coming. Five, four, three, one. And that's going to get us to halftime. Clinch, 33. Echoes, 12. We'll take a 10-minute break, and we'll be back for the second half. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912-490-7142. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches and necklaces and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Hey, I'm Tom Kennedy, and it's been my honor to serve as your mayor of Homerville for the past six years. Now I'd like to serve you as Clinch County's next sheriff. I'm a firm believer in public service and community involvement. I want to improve the sheriff's department's involvement in our community. Together, we can take a more proactive approach in making our community a better, safer place to live and raise our families. God bless Clinch County and go Panthers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. And then a Lockheed Walker Jones. You know Walker Jones is the automotive superstore. But did you know we're also the super service center? That's right. With more than 56 bays, Walker Jones does as much service on all major brands as all the other service centers in town combined. And we're loaded with experienced professional ASC certified mechanics to get the job done right the first time. Hey, I'm Jim coming down to see us for service at the home of the Lifetime Warranty. Lifetime. Lifetime. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? 
all of our menu items come with the Southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Lutz Brown Pigler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Pigler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! You're watching Backroad Sports on Creekbox TV. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Jerry J's Hog and Bones in Homerville is the restaurant for any time of day, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or that special holiday meal. From pancakes to pulled pork and chicken salad to ribeye steak, Jerry J's Hog and Bones has the best food and service around. Oh yeah, and don't forget our great catering service. Go Panthers! At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912-490-7142. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches and necklaces and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Hey, I'm Tom Kennedy and it's been my honor to serve as your mayor of Homerville for the past six years. Now I'd like to serve you as Clinch County's next sheriff. I'm a firm believer in public service and community involvement. I want to improve the sheriff's department's involvement in our community. Together, we can take a more proactive approach in making our community a better, safer place to live and raise our families. God bless Clinch County and go Panthers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, Easy Go, Club Car, and Yamaha. 
0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. And then along came Walker Jones. You know Walker Jones is the automotive superstore. But did you know we're also the super service center? That's right. With more than 56 bays, Walker Jones does as much service on all major brands as all the other service centers in town combined. And we're loaded with experienced professional ASC certified mechanics to get the job done right the first time. Hey, I'm Jim coming down to see us for service at the home of the Lifetime Warranty. Lifetime. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box. We're here live in Homerville. I'm Alan Henley along with Daniel. We're starting the second half with the Panthers leading Eccles 35 to 12 now. Good shot by Simon to make the basket down low. Six points for Simon tonight. Coach Terrence playing a lot of the younger Panthers and getting in. You see Tucker's in there now. Lean with the ball. He's going to try to dribble in, turn around, up and in. Good job. That's eight points for Lean tonight. 35 to 14. And Lean has eight of the 14 points. He'll get the steal down on the other end. So here comes Eccles now. McLeod with the ball. He'll get it down low to Lean. Simon setting up. Back to McLeod. Lean going to drive again. He'll use the backboard up and in. Good shot. 10 for Lean now. 35-16 clinch on top. Talbert's going to slow it down for the Panthers. He'll give it to Robin. There's Tucker with a long three. Off the back of the rim. Good hustle by Talbert. He'll grab the rebound for clinch. He'll give it back up to Tucker. Tucker's going to drive in and throw a hook. He'll miss off the back of the rim, and here comes Eccles. McLeod with the ball. He's going to give it to Vetter. Long three in and out. It rolled around the rim two or three times and come out. Panthers with the ball now. He'll give it up to Simon. He'll drive in. Good defense by Eccles. Castro will block it. Tucker will chase it down and keep Clinch with possession. Jeremiah with the ball. He's going to drive in, try a layup, and through the foul zone. Number 40, I think, and that's Lean. That'll be his first foul. That'll put Jeremiah on the free throw line, shooting two. First shot on the way. Up and in. Four points for Jeremiah Williams tonight. 36-16, clinched back up by 20. Second one on the way. It's good. 37-16 now, clinch up. Here comes Eccles. Want to remind everybody, me and Daniel will be headed over to Atkinson County Friday. It'll be the last regular season game of the year in basketball. The playoffs will start the following week. Here comes Dozier going to check in the game now for clinch. Simon will take him a seat. Echo's got a little half-court press going on now. Good job by Tucker. Robbins all the way across to Jeremiah. Back to Tucker. Tucker will take another three. He'll come up short. Tucker's going to be a great basketball player, man. And JV, I think they've lost only a couple of games this year. And Tucker's a starter for the JV, man. 
Good to see him in there and get some experience for next year. Vetter will give it up to Lean. Dozier all over him. Lean will drive in, use the backboard up and in. Good shot. 12 points for Lean tonight. 37 to 18. Tucker will dribble out of it. He'll give it back to Talbert. Good job. Talbert's going to slow it down for the Panthers now. He'll drive in. He'll give it up. Long three. Good job by Jeremiah. His second one of the game. 40 to 18 now. Clinch on top. Vetter with the ball for Eccles. Good defense. Jeremiah's all over. He needs help. Got it away to Coggins just in time. Coggins dribbling around to get it back to lean. There he is going to the basket again. Good move up and in. Oh, did they say he walked King? Man, he's made that move all night. Took an extra step there. 40 to 18, Clinch still on top. Jeremiah with the ball. Get it to Dozier down low and he'll miss. I don't know if they got a piece of that one or not down low. Uh-oh, there's Talbert with the steal. He'll take it and lay it in. He'll miss. Jeremiah will put it up and he'll draw the foul. That'll be on number 24 and that is Vetter. That'll be his first foul for Eccles. Put Jeremiah Williams back at the free throw line. Clinch 40, Eccles 18. That's right. right. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Kerry on that. The average height is probably five, seven and a half, five, eight for the lineup right now. Yeah, between both of them. Jeremiah's first one's up and in, his second one's in. 10 points for Jeremiah tonight. 42 to 18 clinch leads. McLeod with the ball, he's dribbling around. Good defense by Zach, five second violation, it'll be a turnover. Tucker will bring the ball in for clinch. Talbert setting it up, he'll get Dozier to pick, look out, there's Jeremiah again, three, got it to fall. Boom, that's three of them. 13 tonight for Jeremiah, 45 to 18. Good job by Tucker trying to slap it away from Rogers. Lean with the ball now. He's going to move, drive it all the way to the basket. He'll lay it up and in. 14 points for Lean now. And Jeremiah he was trying to get it to Dozier. Lean will get it, still at 45 to 20, 235 to go in the third quarter. Eccles with the ball. Castro will get rid of it. Back to Lean, he's gonna drive again. It's time. I think Dozier might have got a piece of him. Let's see. 20, no, 12. No, Dozier. That's Dozier. <laughs> Dozier, that'll be. His second foul. He tackled him right up under the goal. <laughs> 45 to 20. Kerry said if you're going to get a foul, you need to make it count. And he got two back to back. That is going to be three on Dozier now. Yes, sir. He, he hustles. He'd say, man, what did I do? I, I barely touched him. <laughs> he, he knocked him three rows up in the bleachers. There's a lean driving in, tries a reverse layup. Lee's tipping at it. Oh, lean will run up in the bleachers. They'll turn it over, and here come the Panthers. 45 to 20, clinch on top. Talbert with the ball now. He'll get it back over to Robbins, over to little Jeremiah. Good pass. Crumley thought it. There's a long three. Talbert off the rim. 
Good rebound by Castro. Here comes Eccles now, 45 to 20, under two minutes to go in the third. Good save there by McLeod. Oh, we gonna have a foul and that was on Lee. He got into him a little hard there. That's gonna be his second foul. Lee's gonna be sore after this game. Our uh, lean is. He took some rough shots down low. McLeod bringing it in for Eccles. 45 to 20, 140 to go in the third. McLeod's gonna drive. Good pass down to the other side, up and in. Good job, that is Castor, and that's six points for him tonight. 45-22 now. Robbins will dribble out. Wide open, Cromedy down low, up and in. Four points for him tonight. 47-22, clinch back on top. Here comes Eccles. Galinda with the ball, he'll give it up. Come back out to lean, 59 seconds to go in the third now, clock running. Lee's gonna stay on him. He'll dribble all the way off the backboard. We're gonna have a foul. We're gonna call that on foul. It's gonna be on Lee. And that'll be his third foul. Great move by Lee getting to the basket. Man, he's got 14 tonight for Eccles. He got 22 total points and he has 14 of them. Cromedy tried to knock it away. They get it back out to Lean. 45 seconds to go in the third. Eccles needing a basket. Good pass. Oh, he had him. And Cromedy got a piece of him. He bobbled the ball. It was going to be an easy basket. Castor had position down there, and that's going to be on. Did they call that on Lee? If it is, that's his fourth foul. Castro's first free throw off the back of the rim. No, that was on Cromedy. Second shot on the way, 47-22. In and out. Robbins with the rebound. All the way down to Jeremiah Williams. He'll take it and lay it up and in. 15 tonight for Jeremiah, 49-22. 25 seconds to go in the third now. Eccles is going to wait and take the last shot, it looks like. Galinda with the ball. He'll give it up. Over to Coggins. Coggins back out the lean. I'd say he's going to take the last shot. He does. He drives in there. Let's see. We're going to have a foul on Robbins. That'll be his second foul with four seconds to go in the third. Going to put lean on the free throw line. First time tonight he's been on the line. He had 14 points for Eccles. First one on the way. In and out. Panthers will check Jenkins in and Lee will sit down. Second shot on the way for Lee. And it's up and in. 15 for Lean tonight, three. One, Robbins is gonna throw up a long one and he overshot it. After three, we have a score of 49 for Clinch and 23 for Echoes. We'll be back in one minute. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. 
On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. All right, everyone, welcome back to Creek Box. I'm Alan Henley, along with my buddy Daniel. We're starting the fourth quarter with Clinch leading 49 to 23. Panthers have the ball. Tober to bring it down to court. He's gonna take it to the basket. He passes down low to Dozier. He'll kick it back out to Talbert. Good save by Dozier. They get it back to him. Uses the backboard. It gets a little short there. Carey said they think they got a piece of that one. Here comes Eccles. Clinch up 49-23. Lean with the ball for Eccles. He's going to drive again. He's done that all night. This time he'll kick it out. Church with the ball. Back to lean. They get it down low. Talbert will knock it away. Dozier had it for a second. Let's see what happens here. Foul's going to be on number 30. That's going to be McLeod, and that'll be his third. Panthers will have the ball. Here comes Talbert. Oh, they'll dribble through. They're going to have another foul. Let's see who they call that one on, on 30, and that is McLeod. That's going to be foul number four on him. 6.50 to go in the game. 49-23, clinch on top. Galinda will come into game now for Eccles, and... Uh, McLeod will take a seat. Panthers with the ball. Trying to get it down low to Dozier. Good job there by Luke to knock it away. He'll give it up to Lean. Lean will take it all the way to basket. We're going to have a foul on Robbins. He was trying to take the charge. And Robbins... Let's see, that'll be his third. That'll put Lean back on the free throw line for Eccles. 49-23. First one's up and in. 16 tonight for Lean. Tucker Robbins will check in for Cromedy, and he'll take him a seat. Second free throw on the way for Lean. Up and in. 49-25, clinch on top. Tucker with the ball, he'll dribble around. He'll give it back up to Talbert. They get it out to Jenkins, he'll drive in, he'll lay it up and in. Good job by Jenkins. Four points for him tonight. 51-25 now, clinch on top. 6.05 to go in the game. Luke with the ball. He's going to dribble in, in and out. Dozier with the rebound. Here come the Panthers now. They'll give it up to Dozier. Back to Robbins. Down to Dozier. He's going to draw the foul. Will be on number 14. I think he got a piece of it, but that'll put Dozier at the free throw line. They're going to call that one on Church, and that'll be his first foul. Dozier at the free throw line now. First shot, it a little to the right. <laughs> he did earlier. He got poked in the eye down here earlier in the first half. Second one on the way. He rubs his hand, drives him off. Second one up. It'll bounce around. It'll fall out. Here comes Eccles, 51-25 now. They get it to Galinda. Uh, Tucker's all over him. Tucker with the steal, good job. He'll throw it down to Zach. Back to Dozier, oh! He almost made it. I thought they got a piece of it. They blocked it. <laughs> Kerry said it should have been a foul. 53-25 to now, good job. 
Tucker knocked it away. Give it to Zach. Back to Dozier. Hustling down the court. Good job by Robbins. He'll knock it out of bounds. 53-25. 5.08 to go in the game. Lean with the ball. He's going to pull up. Off the rim, they're going to say he traveled. Good defense by the Panthers. Jenkins will take a seat, and Simon will come in. Here come the Panthers now. 53-25, under five minutes to go in the game. Tucker with the ball. They're trying to get it down low to Dozier. Good defense there by Luke. He'll pick it up. Church with the ball. He'll throw it across all the way over to Coggins. Church with it. He's going to move in there, up and in. Good move by Church. Four points for him tonight, 53-27. Clinch on top. Tucker's going to dribble in. He'll give it. Oh, and he got a piece of that one. And they're going to call the foul. That'll put Dozier back on the line. He's had trouble with that left eye. He got poked in the first half. <laughs> he has hustled up and down the court tonight. He's a senior man. His first year he's played basketball. He's enjoyed it. There's his free throw shot. Oh, off the back of the rim. It went to the right. Here comes Echoes. They're going to bring a lot of subs in now. Some of their younger kids. Dozier just wanting one basket to say he scored in the varsity game. Second free throw on the way. Look out. And it's in. Good job by Dozier. He got him a point. 54-27 now. Clinch on top. Oh, Dozier will knock it away. They was trying to get it to lean. Here come the Panthers now. Tucker's throwing it all the way. Nobody's looking. There were two Panthers down here, Dozier and Simon, but they were talking. Robbins woke him up. He threw the ball. The great pass. <laughs> yeah. Dozier's worked for that one point. Another good shot by Ling. 19 point for him. There's Tucker Robbins with a long three. He'll miss it. Church with the rebound. Or oh, McLeod with the rebound, excuse me. 54-29, 3.30 to go in the game. Dozier representing the big city of DuPont. Vetter will give it back up to McLeod. He dribbled around all the way back over to Castor. Vetter dribbled back to Church. On a cloud up and in with a three. Good shot. McLeod first three. 54 32 now. Under three minutes. Tucker with the ball now for Clint. He'll drive in. He kicks it back out to Zach. Zach will give it right back to him. Tucker's wanting to set it up. He's going to drive in. He dribbles over, lays it up and in. Good job by Tucker. First basket tonight, 54-32. And they called a foul, I guess. And one on 12. So that's on 12. That'll be his first foul for Eccles. And that is Castor. Tucker at the free throw line. Oh, it's off. Just a hair. Here comes Echo. 56-32. 2.30 to go in the game. McLeod with the ball. He'll dribble around. He'll give it back up. Lean with the ball now. He'll give it up. Trying to get it down low. Good defense there by Dozier. There's Vetter with a long three. It's off the rim. Tucker with the rebound. Vetter guarding Tucker. Tucker will bring it in. 
He dribbling the ball, he'll give it up to Zach. Zach back to Tucker. Tucker reverses, he gonna pull it up. He finds Dozier wide open, oh, he got a piece of that one. He'll get his own rebound and he'll be fouled again. He's back at the free throw line. Dozier has a way of getting to the free throw line. Representing a big city of DuPont. A big, big special case liking this. <laughs> uh, 56 32 left. The Panthers up with 149 to go in the game. There's Dozier using the backboard, old school style. They give it back to him. He'll throw it up. No, they said he walked. Dozier looked at the ref and said, I'm too tired to walk. <laughs> give out. <laughs> That's right. 56 32. Clinch on top of Eccles. Lean with the ball. Man, he's played a great game tonight. He has a 19 point. Vetter with an up and in and a foul. His first basket tonight. 56 32. Comes Eccles. They're going to unload the bench and bring in everybody. Talbert and will sit down along with Zach Robbins. Man, he's a senior, he'll sit down. A lot of the younger kids for Eccles is in the game now. Free throw up and no good. 34, Colden is in the game for Eccles along with 33, Cox. Number five, Jones. 32, I don't have a 32. Panthers have the ball, 130 to go in the game. 56-34, clinch up. Tucker taking his time, he's gonna chew some on the clock. He'll give it up to Jenkins, or turn around at the free throw, it'll be off. Good rebound in there by Jones for Eccles. He'll give it up to Cox. Cox trying to get it down low to Colding. Jump ball, possession will go to Clinch. 103, man, I want to remind everybody, Creek Box will be at the game in Atkinson County this Friday. That'll wind up the regular season. Dozier with another one. He'll get his own rebound, another sky hook. He'll miss it. Cox with the rebound. Jenkins will knock it away. They'll call a foul on him. Dozier had two chances down there. He got his rebound, they got a piece of it. Both times down there. That's gonna put Cox at the free throw line with 50 seconds to go. But it's been another exciting basketball season. Seems like we just started here a week or two ago, but Panthers hope to make a deep playoff run here in the region tournament and the state playoff. Panthers will turn it over, 40 seconds. Dozier with the steal. He'll lay it up in and out. They got a piece of it right at the last second. Dozier's going to foul. He's give out. <laughs> that a rough night. And I think that's five on Dozier, ain't it, Kerry? He's gone. He'll foul out a great steal down there. He's a senior, he represented DuPont. He had one point tonight, 56-34. Yeah, that's right, if he hadn't got poked in the eye, he'd probably made two or three of them down the stretch there. Cox on the free throw line. But man, me and Daniel will be back at 5.55 Friday with the Lady Panthers needing to win. If they win that, they will clinch the sub-region title, I guess what they call it, we'll get to host the region tournament. So it's a big ball game, so y'all tune in. The girls will start at six, and the boys will follow right after it. 7.30, good pass by Tucker. Up and in by Cromedy. 58-35, a no-look pass by Tucker, great job. Oh, man, Lee with a steal. Cox will take it back. 
Up and in, 58-37. Tucker with the ball now, five, four, three. Tucker, long shot off the rim, in and out. And that's going to do it. Clinch, 58. Echoes, 37. I'll tell you what, I'm Alan Henley along with Daniel. We have enjoyed it. But our sponsors have made it possible for us to bring you the basketball games this season. And it's Tom Kennedy for Sheriff. Uh, Heritage Bank, Popeyes and Dairy Queen, Lutz Brown, Lee Engineering, Homerville Jewelers, Mike's Golf Cart, Walker Jones Nissan, Camping World of Alastas, Burt CPA, Jerry J's Hog and Bones, and Huey's One Stop Pizza and Wing. Call them at 912-487-2338. I want to remind everybody to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Man, we're over 1,000 people. Now we're wanting to get to 10,000. Again, I'm Alan Henley along with Daniel and Creek Box. Another exciting night. We'll see you Friday night at 5.55. God bless you.